Uh, Lorraine Wynn Stanley, congratulations through here. You've had a little while to wait until your first match here at Lakeside, but whitewash win, no legs dropped, happy days. Oh, absolutely. I, it's not a bad thing being a bit later on in the draw because it, it allows you to... So I watched the first couple of days at home, saw the coverage on YouTube, mm. and then it gave me time to come down, soak up a bit of the atmosphere and, and you know, and be here. So I don't mind being a bit mm. later. I'd, I'd rather than... You know, when you when you win, the games be back to back rather than you know play Monday and then have to wait till Friday. It's a long wait, so I'd I'd prefer it there was a bit more quick fire. So mm. it's it's good. How does it feel to be back this year? You've had your moments in this venue, some great success, but it's not always been kind to you. Do you enjoy coming back here? Oh, there's there's just no place like it. You know, it was really funny because we were we were about half a mile away, and Dean said we're nearly here, and I went, I know we're nearly here because my hands have gone all clammy, and um, it it gives me goosebumps when I drive through the gates. It's it is the home of our darts, um, and there's just no place like it. The women's game has changed a huge amount over the years, and you've been a part of that really for well over a decade at, at this venue now. Where is the game now as, as where it was 10 years ago? You're making me sound no. so old. <laughs> oh, you know, the women's game is in such a, a brilliant place at the moment. And I still think there's there's room for it to expand and become even bigger and better. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, for now, we just have to try and uh, play as much as we can and reap the benefits while it's there on mm-hmm. offer. So, no, it's in a great place. Mm-hmm. And the WDF have been a big supporter of that. Obviously, the format has been expanded over the last couple of years. The prize, prize fund, 25 grand to the winner definitely not to be sniffed at is it no not at all and and the thing with with bringing the regional tables in as well you know we're we're seeing players from all over the world whereas before it, it was very much uk and europe heavy yeah. uh so now we're getting the players from australia and new zealand and um you know out in asia and and america you know so it really has become a world championships yeah, it certainly has. I want to speak to you about your other role in darts as well with Target Elite One. Um, a lot of promising talents you have the opportunity to work with. What's it like seeing those youngsters come up and sort of join the ranks in the men's game as well? Oh, I am. I'm so lucky to to have that role. Um, and as much as you say, you know, join the ranks in the men's game, we've got some cracking uh, girl players as well. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Um, so I'm really excited for the future for them because obviously the women's game being where it is um, and there's no denying, you know, it has to be mentioned, Luke Littler has just smashed everybody in everything that he's done. You know, so I, it's going to be a really exciting 12 months watching that unfold to see how he progresses, um, you know, on the Pro Tour. Um, but, you know, I have 25 uh, of the Elite One players that I look after and I am so, so proud of every single one of them because they're all doing what they're doing in whatever they're doing, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, right through from the JDC and the England Grand Prix and the WDF Youth Tournaments, um, you know, through to the development tour, you know, and... You know, we we hopefully uh, are looking to to have a, a world champion at some stage through our ranks at senior level. You know, um, that's come through our system. Which so, hopefully that's the aim. <laughs> you mentioned Luke Little there. What what an eighteen months it's been for him. Whether it's the JDC winning the World Youth Championships, he's achieved pretty much everything there is to achieve in the youth game. He now steps on to the PDC Pro Tour. How's it going to be different for him and what are the expectations like for for him, do you think? I think for him the expectations are really high. Um, It's... I think the thing that people don't understand is it's a massive transition going from the youth game and to be able to dabble in the seniors to only having the senior events to play in. I think it's going to be really interesting to watch the next 12 months unfold. Um, He's got the game. He's got the talent. There is no denying that. Um, It's whether it's how the other players react to him as well on the pro tour. You know, I think initially, I think there's going to be that fear factor. Nobody wants to lose to the kid, you know, but... um, I think that will subside quite quickly and and people will want to raise the game against him. So I'm, I'm just... I'm just going to sit back and eat the popcorn, really, yeah. and and just watch it all unfold because 
what a learning curve for him and and for us running team elite as well you know to to have a player like that 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 has exploded onto the onto the scene um it, it's going to be really interesting but i'm i'm just excited and, and i just want to give all my elite ones just a massive big hug because i'm so so proud of whatever they do whenever they do it We'll round this off by chatting about the woman on the poster behind you, Bo Greaves. Um, incredible 18 months for her as well and comes into this World Championship a very heavy favourite. Um, there's obviously a lot of women playing some excellent darts, but for her, two-time World Champion, that's what she's here for, isn't it? Of course. Bo's different gravy and she has been for a long time. You know, Again, she she has been one that hasn't struggled with that transition from being, you know, being on the scene and, and bashing all those women up at 12 years old. You know, she, she's made that transition beautifully. Um, and she just switches off and gets on with the game. Uh, obviously, we all aspire to be a little bit like Bo, you know. Um, she, she has raised... She's raised the level where it comes to, to you know, to women's darts. Um it's not all Bo, you know, obviously here it is, but, you know, we have Fallon and Lisa, you know, for what they've done, you know, uh, with Lisa winning the tour card and Fallon doing what she did at Ali Pali. We, we have an awful lot to thank them for too. Um, and I think Bo just keeps the women's game at the forefront of people's minds, which obviously, if, you know, if we were involved, then it's helping us all, you know, so... You know, Bo's brilliant. She always has been and she probably always will be. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time, Lorraine. Thank you.